have to read the secret password. Read what's on there. This, this isn't a p password. Sweetheart, the court will appoint a, a public defender, and sometimes they're the best. Mother, if you don't know, they'll put him in the electric chair. What are you made up for? Hush. We've got to prepare ourselves to enter the world of the spirit. up the moon while you walk, and there it is, walking slow and steady with you. Grandfather, please. It's settled. When do I have to go? Don't you see, Uncle Tim? I've got no choice. Just like you said when you walked out yesterday. I'll do anything to keep him being sent away to some stuck-up school. But, but you don't understand, Jimmy. You see, they'll accuse me of kidnapping you. I understand, all right. <clears throat> I guess he's still at work. Is this Wendy? No. Sorry, uh, who's calling? Any message? No message. Celia Casella, 555-3875! Oh, Amy! You didn't know about it? No. I swear I didn't. You're doubting me. How can you do that? That's like doubting your own daughter. You're not my daughter, Amy. But I could be. Didn't you ask me the other day if I was available? Well, I'm available. Amy, listen. I can move in with you right now. Cook all your meals. I make terrific sandwiches. Y you like peanut butter? Salami. I could even make egg sandwiches. Amy, would you shut up and listen to me for a minute? Well, I almost got away with it. You must admit, Mr. McGarrett, it was a clever plan. Clever, huh? Everybody who wears a marriage band argues. Well, maybe, but I don't know if they argue that heavy. I became friends with this incredible, wonderful woman when I first got to LA. I think she was one of my actual first friends that I met in Los Angeles. And really? I think so. I do. I think so. I mean, you know, and, and we were just, you know, and Bobby McGee's. I was Jim Bob Joe. And, um, and we were both, you know, doing our thing entertaining the customers as we fed them food. And then I think it was like three or six months after we became friends and we're hanging out, I found out she was on one of my favorite TV shows of all time. <laughs> and I was like, Dynasty? Oh my God, anything can happen in Los Angeles. You anything. never know. I know. Well, I'm gonna... And and the yeah. voice that you are hearing right now is this dear, dear friend of mine. Um, I mean, uh, she's just, I, I, I am thankful that I have met her and that I could call her friend. The wonderful Katie Kurtzman. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Hello, honey. Hi, baby. Hi. Hi. <sighs> so? What's new? <laughs> <laughs> What's new? Well, this is new. 
I know, we right? We haven't done this yet before. We, we, we used to um, work together a lot. We used to um, do uh, things through Meet the Biz and also um, uh, Friends of Californians with Disabilities and Media Access and, and um, of course, uh, the class you taught over at um, Joy Drill inclusion, inclusion, yeah, and all that. But when we met, you actually trained me. It was my very first, yeah, and only <laughs> uh, waitressing job, right? That I had when I was desperate for money and and not teaching as much as I used to, yeah, and going through lots of life changes and. Um, my boyfriend at the time, who later became my husband, um, suggested I go wait tables. I said, I'd no sooner become a prostitute. <laughs> said, well, you could do that. You could do that. And uh, I thought, well, maybe I'd rather wait tables than become a prostitute. Um, sorry, but it, it's, it's such a cliche thing. Not, nothing against people who wait tables, because that's a hard job. Hard job. I was not yeah. very good at it. I uh, thought you were very good at it. Thank you. What, I thought, I, I, yeah. Well, I, I was a good character. Right. But not a good waitress. Uh, it, was a, it was a character restaurant, and I used to hide my faux pas um, behind my character. What do you think I did? I, filled, um, I, I had a, a big top. It was like a 35 people for somebody's yeah. birthday. Yeah. And I played the French maid and I had this really hokey accent and um, I was refilling the birthday boys. Did I tell you the story? I refilling the birthday boys iced tea. You might've been there. Uh, iced tea. And I picked up his iced tea and he's sitting right here and I pouring the iced tea sideways and a whole slew of white ice went straight into his lap oh. and the whole restaurant went silent oh. and okay how, how, how do I deal with this and so I just burst out laughing and um said mail does something like that and um my odd god awful um French accent and uh the whole the whole table started to laugh and we just you know I told them told the manager and he, they gave him a discount and you know he got his dinner but he just he looked at me like, oh. I can't believe you. I was not a great waitress. I wasn't a great waitress, but I was very yeah, but entertaining. Beside that, you, uh, I was going to say you were a great actress. You are, you are a great actress. You are, I mean, I, I was watching some of your clips. And I mean, you. what age did you start acting? I was four when I started studying. And then I started working professionally at five. You were so, um, you, you you were, you are so real in everything you do. I mean, and you have that availability and emotionality and it just, it, I, it still draws me in and it brings me back to memories to watch those classic TV shows you've been on. Well, you're very kind. I'm telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> very sweet it was another age i mean things it was a things were a little campier back then you could get away with a lot more um okay i think that my work later like when you and i worked together on hide and if you were frozen now again no you were just holding still uh, <laughs> um when you and i worked together later on mm -hmm. um i think that i'm my my work got more real as I got older because I kept studying and the, of course the style changed. Yeah. Um, but when when I was young and I you know doing commercials and then um, theatrical work, it yeah. was it it was um, the work was big. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm kind of a large character anyway. You yeah. know, just in terms of. Um, when okay let's put it this way yeah when i act now or haven't in a while but when i when when you and i worked together in um i think it was 08 yeah 
on hide. And anytime I actually work, <laughs> I have to work at bringing the energy down. I really have to stop and focus and really watch the other person and listen to what they're saying and keep it simple, less, 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 even less, less than that. Uh, because just normally I'm animated. Mm. You know, I'm like, well, you know, my, I just, my, um, I used to, um, I, I did that too. I mean, growing up, I was like, shtick. Yes. Da 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 da. You know, you were just, that's, <laughs> that's, that was, that was the 70s. Yeah. That was, uh, that was what yes. we did. We, uh, and though I was watching when you were looking up at the moon and uh, the, I forgot that show, but you were saying um, look at the, oh, talking about the moon following. Yeah. Or the moon following you as you walk. And I was yeah, like, that was um, that was uh, the awakening land. Oh, come to me, girl. Come to your paw. Rosa. Now. Why are you so white? Am I? Is your heart jumping? I think so. Let me listen. It's not jumping much. Only a little. It must be all the walking and running you're doing, Chancy. It's good for your heart. I didn't know I could run, but when you're frightened. Chancy, you ever go walking in the woods? Sometimes. I don't mean the little woods. I mean the deep woods, where they haven't chopped down the big trees yet. I'll take you, and then you can hear the trees talk. They say, Jack. Trees can't talk, Rosa. They can. When the wind blows the tops, the big buds bend a little and crack. They say, Jack. Jack. Can the trees say Chansey? I never heard them. But we can walk in the woods together and listen for it. You walk a lot, don't you? best to like walking at night along the river at night does your mom let you no but i beg her give me a minute mama just a minute then i run out of the house walk up and down the river with the moon did you know chancy no matter how far you walk the moon always walks with you all the way and back again you watch up the moon while you walk, and there it is, walking slow and steady with you. Rosa, when you're walking in the woods, or with the moon, take longer steps. Why? Because every step you take is one step less in your life. Well, Chancy, no, it's not true. I heard it's true. Maybe that's why her mom never leaves the house. Maybe she's saving steps so she won't die too soon. Chancy, we should never talk about dying. Don't let you and I ever think about dying. I must go now. Well, wait. I must, Chancy. All right. Don't you forget me. I can never forget you. Uh, 
Um, yeah. It wasn't my first location thing, but th that was like still really early on. I think that was, well, okay. I did commercials until yeah. I was 11 and then I started doing theatricals and then pretty much all I was doing was theatricals. And, and I just, um, because of um, when every day was the 4th of July, oh. when that, when that happened, yeah. um, I just started book and work like crazy. Yeah. So that was not that long after when every day was the 4th of July. Um, let me see. I did like six things in a year. I mean, I was just like, bam, 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 bam. We're working, 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 working. And I think it, that shoot was hard because mm. it was uh, on location in um, Illinois. Mm -hmm. We were um, uh, working in that, uh, it was a um, national park in Springfield mm. uh, that was where um, Lincoln had been a postmaster mm -hmm. or he ran the post office. And yeah. we're talking log cabins. And, um, and that thing that we were under uh, that was a carding mill. Yeah. They would walk these ox and the, the, the whole thing would spin and it would run the the mill inside and the carding mill. Carding is where you take, oh boy, my ADD head. I'm just going to tell you the whole story of, uh, anyway. I you don't need to know what's going on. But um, th that was an evening shoot. It was after the sun went down. We probably, maybe that was like eight hours into a day. And we had banked a bunch of schools, so we were just working, 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 which is actually easier yeah. than um, than um, going in and out of school. So here's the thing: you you did you played Heidi, you <laughs> you were in Fantasy Island, you were in the Love Boat. I mean, how many uh, roles did you do, and what was your favorite? Um, uh, I think I did. Gosh, uh, I think it was 11 movies of the week, 14 guest spots, 30 some odd commercials, um, a six hour miniseries, uh, one feature film, a uh, series of shorts. It's hard to say what my favorite was, at right. least to work on, but uh, my favorite movie that I was in was uh, When Every Day Was the Fourth of July. It's classic. Well, that it's really, really a great. It's a really great film. Yeah, it is. Next time you mind your own business or it'll be worse. Kick my magazine back in the sewer. Now I can't get it out. What am I going to do, Snowman? If I don't get them, I have to pay for them.
That's why I'm selling the Saturday Evening Post. I know the end of the world special is never going to come, and Dan is going to be awfully disappointed. He and Charlie Wilson, that's his friend, took back just about every soda bottle in Bridgeport to pay for it. Ow. I'm sorry. It doesn't hurt. When I get $5, I'm going to take a bus to Easton and buy him crackers and pinwheels and everything. <clears throat> Of course, it won't be as terrific as this. But nothing's that terrific. You want to subscribe? But that costs two dollars. Can you write, Snowman? It's okay to print. Albert Kavanaugh. Thank you, Albert Kavanaugh. <laughs> That's my part, um, that one. Yeah. Um, because it dealt with bullying and um, people with disabilities. And uh, at the time, I couldn't read. I was 11. We used to hide the fact that I couldn't read from the um, production. Mm -hmm. um, I was at the, at Lawrence uh, private school, which is a, a school for the educationally handicapped. I um, have visual processing disorder. Yeah. And um, have since I was, you know, little. And so I was always an EH kid. And uh, my disability isn't um, really visible. Mm. You know, um, some people you run into, um, they either have like little uh, Asperger's -y quirks or um, they have a, like a physical disability, but this is a, or a de developmental disability and they're, they're a little bit more outwardly obvious with the, their, their disability, but mine is more hidden. Yeah. And so, um, I really connected with uh, the, the character, Sarah, um, wanting to rescue the snowman or Albert. We nicknamed him the snowman because he was um, almost albino yeah. because he'd lost pigmentation. He had a brain injury from, um, from being in the uh, First World War. Mm -hmm. And um, he was mistreated badly. Yeah. And he, um, I don't want to give away the story, right. but he was accused of a murder that she believed he did not commit. Um, and all kinds of accusations came after him. And it, and it, that kind of thing still goes on today. Yeah. People who appear as other 
you know, that guy's weird. Therefore he must have done blah, blah, blah. Or there's something wrong with mm. the person. Um, and, and so they're an easy target. They're either an easy target for abuse mm -hmm. or, uh, for, um, uh, a legal system that doesn't have the, the right kind of accommodation for people. Right. Like uh, for instance, how many, it was a few years ago, but a young man uh, was arrested walking to the market uh, because the officers believed he was on drugs when in fact he, you remember this? Yeah. When in fact he um, had autism. Yes. And he couldn't communicate the way that, you know, so yeah. They, they, they slapped this human being in handcuffs and arrested him because he was walking to the store with autism. You know how it, it's, it's still a People problem. People aren't trained. But, People aren't trained. Mm -hmm. I mean, they yes. need to be trained. And actually everybody should take a class in humanity and being <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like, yeah. Yeah. So being a special person, yeah, I related to um, this character uh, being compassionate toward somebody who had um, specialness. Right. Does that make sense? Oh yeah. Well, you did. You've done several. I mean, you've done so many characters. In fact, I mean, you did two episodes in uh, the classic. Um, Little House. Little House. Yeah. Little funny. House on the Prairie. <laughs> what? The Magic the Box. Music. And I remember, I remember. Music. The Music Box. Yeah. There's Allison and I. Can you see that? It's gorgeous. Yeah. Isn't that cute? That's, a, that's a Allison and I. Um, yeah, the Music Box. That was, that was a great one because I was being bullied in that one. I was... Uh, I was a stutterer, which yeah. is really, um, is Allison right there? Huh? 